Good morning, Salem. Today, we will go through John chapter 15 and 16. I often reflect on the conversations that I had with my father as a child and becoming a teenager. He was very intentional in making sure that he shared the wisdom that he was able to gather as an adult and as a man to pass it on to me. I reflect on the sayings, uh, the many comments, but what stood out probably the most is the reflection on the Brown name. He made sure to make sure that I uh, respected the name in everything that I did. And he would normally end the conversations with, make sure that you represent Leroy and Patricia Brown well. In John chapter 15, we are met what is called the farewell discourse. It's the time where Jesus is preparing the disciples for his departure. It is when he met with them at the supper table and was giving them the layout of what was to come. Jesus was intentional in making sure that the disciples knew who they were connected to. He referred to them as the branches and him as the vine, and he wanted to make sure that they understood what came along with that connection. Jesus wanted to make sure that they knew what was to come. He wanted to let them know that he wasn't going to be with them forever and that they were going to carry on the mission, that they were going to carry on the task of being spreading the gospel and, you know, encouraging those that were left behind. During this time of cleanse and fasting, Salem, is Jesus speaking to you? In this time of going through this fast, where you are being separated from the things that may have made you feel comfortable, the things that you may have found joy in, is Jesus speaking to you at this time? Is our Lord and Savior giving you instruction and guidance on what you should be doing, I would declare and ask you that you should lean into the Lord during this time of uh, fasting and praying. As you spend time with him, think about what he is sharing with you. Think about what direction he is calling you to be. Is there something that you have been called to that you have been sitting on and that you haven't brought forth unto the world. This may be that time for you to stand tall, stand on the word of God, and press towards the calling that the Lord has on your life. Allow me to pray for you as we go before the Lord. Oh, gracious and heavenly Father, we thank you for a time like this, an opportunity to be able to draw closer to you so that you will draw closer to us. As we fast and pray, over this Lenten season. I pray whatever you have for us, that we press into that, Lord, that we accept your calling, that we accept the assignment that you have before us, and that we trust in you with all our heart, with all our understanding, and knowing that you shall lead us and guide us to your greatness, Lord. Thanking you for keeping us for a time just like this so that we may carry out the will that you have for our life. Lord, we are forever thankful and we show gratitude for what you have done thus far, but we are excited and overjoyed for what you are going to do. Lord, I pray that you speak to us during this time as your son spoke to the disciples at that time, Lord. May we be lifted up in understanding that you have called us to a greater calling, Lord, for a greater assignment, Heavenly Father, for a time just like now. So Lord, I pray that we just place our trust in you, that we align up with your word and your voice, that we seek your face and not your hand, and that your will be done. We worship you in honor and truth. Have your way with us like never before. And it's in Jesus' mighty name that we pray. Amen.